So we about to watch this. So this supposed to be dude that did it? Nah. Well, I don't know. This is just a video document that oh, yeah. I just clicked the shit. So we about to see what's up. Uh, All right, so last night was kind of wild. A very lengthy Twitter thread was created by this girl by the name of Jovi Licious on Twitter, or also known as the Jovi Pena on Instagram. Looks like she's just another typical IG model. I'm not entirely sure what she does for a living, but it does look like her two main platforms are Instagram and TikTok. And according to her, she said on January 1st, 2023, which was New Year's Day, I was at a party by a complete stranger. I was invited to this party by some. He reading it out loud, so we ain't gotta stop and read it. We just gonna, we gonna go with the video. We gonna listen to the video. Someone I thought to be a friend. I right. asked for. I gotta rewind it back like that. My bad. My bad. And according to her, she said on January first, twenty twenty three, which was New Year's Day, I would at a party by a complete stranger i was invited to this party by someone i thought to be a friend i asked for help and it's not going anywhere so i decided to take it to social media his name is jigui or i believe that's jigui sack and here as you can see is the instagram page of this guy that she's throwing allegations at his name is richie underscore jiggy please none of you go over there and message or harass this guy because we don't know anything about the story yet none of this has been confirmed these are just all allegations so far also here is a photo of this man and as you can see you can see one of the likes under his photo was by Kai. Now, to get started, her first tweet in this thread said, I was invited by Kai Senat. When I decided to leave, he told me I'd be safer upstairs since I was drunk and nobody would bother me. However, after I fell asleep, since I thought it was safe due to there being security and Kai's confirmation, however, I wasn't safe. Dejai Zach walked into the room where I was asleep and brutally me to the point to where I bled. When I woke up to see him still on top of me, I called him out as he and he told me that I was in his bed and that's why he did what he did. I was in shock. I called and texted my quote unquote friend who invited me, but I got no answer and I was told by the that he left, which I found out later to be a lie. Obviously that friend is Kai Senat since he's the one who invited her. I'm not entirely sure if anybody else partook in her invitation to this party, but she goes on to say, he told me we can just keep Jay in love with money, you good, you know what I'm saying? I, I, we about to finish this and then I'm gonna get back to the chat. Hold up, right fast. Keep it a secret and pretend nothing happened, but I was already traumatized by then. I asked him if he at least used protection, which he then showed me a dirty and said, yes, a skin's Now I have to take medication for a month to make sure I don't catch any ST. Is that like the sheepskin shit? Okay, probably, yeah, probably. No, nah, but that's like more for people who are allergic to the latex. Right. I don't know what the fuck a skin's condom is. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that it is, says but. Those condoms only protect you from pregnancy, not STDs. She asked him if he used protection. Or is they saying, they probably just saying all condoms don't protect. I don't know. I don't know what it is. All right. Let's, let's keep going. I don't going. know. I need to get to the going. sheepskin, boy. As you all know, those only know. protect you from unwanted pregnancies and not STDs. No, you ain't. I spent all day crying and processing what happened to me instead of enjoying my vacation in New York. At night time, I... <laughs> Yo, that bitch don't even... Hold up, that shit don't even sound right. That boy got them sheepskins. He got them sheepskins. Who got, them, who got some damn sheepskin condoms in their pocket? All right, hold up, let's get back to it. Bro, this whole Kai Sinat shit, you know what I'm saying? We just reacting to this shit, bro. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. I had dinner reservations, but I went to the emergency room instead as I was still in pain from what happened to me. I described what the person looked like to my friend, I guess Kai Senat, 
who had invited me to the party and he said he didn't know the person. However, after digging for a day and a half, I found the person's Instagram and that they have been friends for years. And here are the photos that she linked to that tweet. Here's a photo of Kai Sinat with rich underscore dot jiggy. As you can see, this is literally the photo that we saw earlier in the thread. Sinat with that's your homie for real, bro. That's why you ain't help me. That's why you ain't go up there. You know what you was doing. What the fuck? I'm literally being here for as we speak. Are you fucking crazy? So, basically, they saying this is after she asked him if he knew. No, I ain't, I ain't live on TikTok right now. No, nah, well, go ahead, okay? I think this is after. So, basically, she done hit him up already and asked him, do you know this dude? And he said no. I, yeah. I guess I'm guessing this will happen from there, and now she's in the picture. Uh, is that Kai in the picture too? Yeah, yeah, he in the picture and he liked it for me. So, so she's sending that like for me. You, you lying, know, you him. do know him. Yeah, that's what she trying to say. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But go ahead though. With rich underscore dot jiggy. As you can see, this is literally the photo that we saw earlier in the thread with Kai Sinet's like. And I'm not entirely sure why he would lie about knowing this guy. That seems kind of sus already, especially if a girl is coming to you kind of explaining that this guy may have her. I mean, Kai has not yet come out to explain his side of the story yet, but I'm pretty sure that will be out soon. And if everything she says is true and these allegations coming out and starting with a lie to try and cover up for your boys already sus. But upon her finding this guy's Instagram page and finding out that Kai does actually know him, or at least has met him in the past, she decided to screenshot the photo and texted him by saying, that's your homie for real, bro. That's why you ain't help me. That's why you ain't go up. You knew what he was doing. And he responded back by saying, yo. All right, so this is some weird shit, you know what I'm saying? But I got, uh... I got two two questions I want to answer. Like, how the fuck did you find his Instagram? How did she find that nigga's Instagram? I don't know. So I think she just somebody sent it to her. That he got over a million followers though. No, they say he only followed 122 people, so she could have went through his followers. I mean, who he followed. So hold up, let me see. On what though? I think that was on Instagram, yeah. Yeah. Hold on a minute. Because, boy, she did some goddamn detective work. She should have took her ass to the police. You said he only followed these, how many? Oh, yeah, he do follow, These females bro. got a motherfucking that, bro, start going to the fucking too. police. That's the first one that talked Literally, about. got his ass, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Bro page private. So she had to be following him, though. Unless he did, he, he probably just made it fall in private. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, that's some weird shit. And I ain't gonna cap, though. See, that looks bad on Kai because it's like, damn, nigga. Just using, like, see, I don't like judging situations like this because I don't want to, like, jump the gun or nothing yeah. like that. But it's like, damn, just using my common knowledge. I'm not following nobody. For, if I'm follow, if I'm famous, famous like that, and I'm only following 122 people, nigga, you got to be somebody I fuck with to be yeah. one of those 122 people. But now what? I, had, I did watch a little bit of that Kai explaining himself. And what I can say, he... Kai, like, Kai is basically, like, he's on some, like, like, for me, he don't know who's lying, but one of them is lying. Either his friend is lying or she's lying, but he's saying, which, I, he's not picking no side. He's, he's, you know what I'm saying, he's rocking with both of them until he figure out who's lying, and then he's cutting the liar off. He's basically like, I'm not going to be quick to, you know what I'm saying, throw somebody in out there like they're just I'm saying guilty or 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 I'm not going to side with her and make my homie think this because I don't know if she's telling the truth or I don't know if my homie's telling the truth so uh, that's he's basically on some like that's between y'all but you know I'm saying if once the truth comes out whoever's lying it's over for y'all like for me he basically said it himself he said if bro is wrong then he's done he said if she's wrong then she's done you know what I'm saying like yeah. for me like he I ain't gonna cap it look it definitely looks bad, you know what I'm saying? Like it definitely like, looks bad. You just clear like bro literally just clicked this 
click this followers and, and bro is right at the top. I maybe that's because people been doing the same thing, going to his followers yeah. and looking for him, but he he was literally just right at the top, you know. But what I'm Kai would look guilty to unfollow, bro, and you know what I'm saying literally like so he's sticking to his word with that though. No, he's like I'm not. I don't I'm feel not like Kai had no nothing way. to do with it. Like you know what I'm saying me honestly, how I feel over the whole situation, I do feel like you know what I'm saying. Y'all bro, it was a possibility that bro definitely could have did something, you know what I'm saying? But as far as Kai setting it up, I don't, I don't, Kai, I know Kai you know didn't set shit up. Day? Bro was just moving weird by itself, you feel me? Yeah. Bro was just on some bullshit by itself for sure. I wonder if he followed uh, her too. That's sick, man. But you know what I'm saying like that's valid though, bro. See, like you know, Kai gotta watch the niggas he keep around. Yeah, him, like you know? I'm saying, you can't you, you can't, can't have niggas like that around you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Putting schmutt on your campaign, right? Because now you know what I'm saying, people associating that shit with Kai and it, right. as bad as it sounds, you know what I'm saying? Like you ain't even have to do the nothing for it. The majority fall of the people that's hearing this shit is going to come out of this situation associating that shit with Kai. They don't even niggas who don't even like never seen a Kai in that stream, don't know of him, know his personality, nothing. You know what I'm saying? All they're going to get is from the situation is that girl got got at Kai Sinat's party. You feel me? Like, yeah, and it's it's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? What's gang name? Thank you for the thank you, gang. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Hey, Jay in love with money. I appreciate that, Good G. Good looking out, round. But nah, though, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, like, for me, this is crazy, bro. Like, literally, like, for me, if, if bro did that for me, homegirl needed me. Need I ain't gonna even cap to me. you, you feel me? That little picture, no disrespect to Hobie, but that little picture that they just showed, he looked like a little, the way he was just up at the camera smiling and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? He looked like he'd do some shit like that, man. I ain't gonna eat cap to you. He looked like a weird-ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna judge a book by his cover. That's why I'm not but trying to make no saying, assumptions. Cause cause he Kai could, said, you know what I'm saying, like, Kai was saying, like, and you could tell he wasn't meaning to even, like, literally, like, he was, you can tell Kai wasn't even trying to, like, he wasn't meaning to even sound like he was picking no side or nothing. But he yeah. ended up saying, you know what I'm saying, like, like yeah, I have known bro for a long time. You know what I'm saying, and he wouldn't. I I he he basically slipped up and said he would never do something like that for me. Yeah. Like and bro, shoot, I ain't gonna cap. I know my homies. You know what I'm saying, I know, I know my day ones. You know what I'm saying, I know my day ones would never do nothing like that. You know what I'm saying, yeah, for I sure. I feel like he's just. You know what I'm saying, bro. Kai is just shocked by this whole situation, and he don't know. Like he can't. You know what I'm saying, he can't just go straight up and be like. You know what I'm saying. My bro ain't do that. Or he can't say, you know what I'm saying, bro did that. You know what I'm saying? We need to get justice for her. He can't do that because it's like if he did if he does do that God and goes full blown campaigning for the other side and then he turns out to be wrong, now he just helped the world throw smut on this person's name. And no matter what he says, he can't undo that. You know what I'm saying? He could come out and be like, I'm sorry, you know what I'm saying everything was wrong. And then it's like either way, for the people who don't catch that video, they're gonna be looking at, you know what I'm saying, his homie like like he still did what he did, you know what I'm saying? Because they don't know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for so sure. So he, he really can't just go out on a limb and just pick a side like that. He really can't. And, bro, bro's young, bro. This is really crazy. This Yeah, is crazy. he bro, wasn't prepared for this, this you know what I'm saying? He wasn't prepared happened. for it at all. That's why I say the only thing he did wrong was having a nigga around him that he ain't know yeah, was ain't all the way 100. You yeah. feel me? Like, that's why you got to keep your circle small. I get it, you know, he was back in New York. He was trying to kick it, turn up. Right. I throw the big party. Hey, I'm I'm the man now, you know what I'm saying? Right. But you still, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather have 100 females and just seven of my guys that I know. I know it's solid. I know, like, all right, these my guys, you know what right. I'm saying? Ain't nothing going on. You feel me? Fuck it. You feel me? Maybe some up and coming rappers or something, yeah, you, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? Maybe, that's, yeah. That's doing their thing in the city or something. Yeah, maybe you know like some high. High profile people that who ain't got, who, yeah, 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 you like know what I'm saying? Who, who ain't got like all that bullshit going on, and, and people who actually have a name that that, that has a lot to lose, to lose. yeah, you in know the what I'm eyes saying? of people, yeah, you feel me? Like, you know, see, bro, 
bro is probably just like a regular New York nigga, you feel me? He just thought he was about to slide up in there, do some little goofy ass shit, and then boom, I'm out. Right. He done probably went back, you know what I'm saying? Telling his homies and shit, you feel right, me, right, dog? Right. Do, 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 do. Like, nah, nigga, they don't know the real. They don't know the fucking real. You done probably went back and telling niggas you got some pussy, you done fucked this bitch and all type of shit, nigga, right. and you done, you done took the yeeks. Like, bro, it's see, fucked he, up as nah, it sounds. Bro, you, if you really you went, took the yeeks, like, bro, for you somebody took to, the yams, you, nigga. That was some. See, and then going back and flexing on it is crazy. Bro. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. If he did that, we're yeah, not if saying he did that, if he did that, if he did that, yeah. But if he did, boy, that is crazy. Them boys in jail gonna be waiting on you, boy. You know, they take yeeks in there, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they take yeeks in there, Can too. Can I get to the game? Can I get to the game? Sweet yams. Bruh. Them boys take yams in there, too, G. Damn, man. But there we go judging this. There we go judging this situation again, man. I'm, I'm just... I'm trying to be... Yeah, we neutral on the whole joint, you know what yeah. I'm saying? We, I'm neutral, neutral cuz I ain't I learned my lesson from the Meg joint, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not going to cast out no yeah. they did it. They did it. I'm not pointing my finger when and we saying talk nothing, about you know it. When we talk about it, we're acknowledging both points, you right. know what I'm saying? Like we acknowledging like, "Hey, old girl could be lying." Right. Even though honestly, I ain't going to cap. I don't feel like she lying, you know what I'm saying? We just got to be fair to the situation, you know what I'm saying? But it's not impossible for that. We to be feeling me. like, hey, you feel me, dude, on some weirdo shit. Me personally, I ain't gonna cap. See, I ain't. Fuck it, bro. I feel like it's just more likely for Kai to have. You know what I'm saying like, dude maybe he look like, you know, he look like a weirdo, bro. But bro, I just can't help but keep comparing this situation to that duty low, FTN Bay or whatever, where she was trying to accuse him of all that stuff. And you're right. Like for me, and they turned right. out to be crazy, and it's like for me. That's why you, bro, you, you right. can't never just go and jump. But on see, like man, side, bro, until we know. Everything. I felt that man. I felt that like I knew that duty low shit. Someone right with the duty low like, shit. You that know just what I'm saying? because it was like, all right, bro. you know, like like this. You gotta think ridiculous. about. But it's still you know yeah. The saying? duty low shit just sounded like way out of right. the ball. Like, bro, like, ain't no man. Nah. Nobody with they right mind could would do that. But that gotta yeah. be some like crazy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like I I couldn't believe the duty low shit. You feel me? But this this don't sound like too far fetched. You know what I'm saying? What they're saying, Kai set it up and shit. That sound like all right. That's some bullshit. Right. But this I ain't gonna lie. As this far as crazy, everything bro, else, this sound crazy too though. I ain't gonna lie. It's definitely like some shit that is it is it, it, it don't it's, sound bro, it's a, it's fake. A, yeah, it don't sound fake, bro. It sound like a just a crazy situation. Bro. Yeah, it sound like some wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, Let's keep watching though, yeah. man. Let's keep watching because we didn't got fucking three minutes into the video and then came up with our whole whole own assumption. Right. Yo, what? I'm literally getting info as we speak. Are you crazy? I knew what was going on. So he's basically saying he didn't know what the hell what was happening. He had no idea that his boy was doing that to girls. And I guess he was just getting information on the story. But I mean, is your boy really going to yeah, admit to the fact right that there. he may have possibly violated oh, yeah. a girl against her will? That picture right there, he looked like he like, I ain't going to cap. I ain't dude, gonna they cap, bro. Showing this picture a lot. Like they, it's like when they when they doing a fucked up story on somebody, they pick the most fucked up pictures. Like you know what I'm saying? This picture right here don't do this nigga no justice. You <laughs> feel me? Like this nigga look you like fried. a straight up creeper. This motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But we can't. But throw you that can't. Label on yeah, him, yeah, man. We can't throw that label on no, no man, bro. We can't throw that label on nobody, bro. Just off of just straight looks, bro. Because he could be the same person right, to turn bro. around and, and see something like that and and up fire on somebody. He might be. You know what I'm saying he might not. He might can't stomach something like that. For me, we don't know. You right, bro. But he do. You know what I'm saying look, bro. But we human. This is again. This is a part of being human, bro. Everybody could say they don't judge oh, and everything. Shit. You know what I'm saying? 
y'all judged us in a way, whether you want to believe it or not. You know what I'm saying? Anybody who first click on this video, because when I go back and rewatch it, I'm going to judge myself. I'm going to judge the way I have my fit on. I'm going to judge what I said about something. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We naturally just come up with our on own YouTube opinion. all the time. I've right. seen one comment. They said, I look like a thug that's at a crossroad in his life, whether I want to be a gangster or a scientist. <laughs> like, God damn. <laughs> Damn, bro. bro. Like, what the fuck? You know what like, mean? niggas be getting creative. Bro. Right. You feel me? <laughs> let's let's watch this shit, though, man. Oh, my goofy ass and clicked <laughs> on the stream. I doubt that, but if she did go to the police and there are records of her filing a complaint and if the records of her actually going to the hospital, right, and actually being examined and taking a kit and finding somebody else's DNA inside of her. If it turns out to be this guy in the photo that Kai Sinat is actually friends with and was kind of trying to cover for, then damn, this may be the end of Kai Sinat's career. Definitely hope not because you never want to see a young brother actually fail in life, but so far, it ain't looking too good right now. five days since the incident and I haven't been able to sleep or eat properly. I haven't been able to socialize or go to work. This is all I think about 24 seven. I'm not looking for attention. All I want is the justice I deserve. I want to stop him from hurting anyone else. And she ended it with- Hold up though, so this is the only thing though, bro, that I feel like is wrong with the female side. Why the fuck, like, if you want justice, bro, like, you know, I get, at this point, it feels like you trying to exploit Kai. Because if, I, me personally, I just feel like if you wanted justice, you could literally go to that local police department, you know what I'm saying? Well, you got the, you said she got the kit done on her and shit. It, it shows, well, I don't know if I heard it wrong. Yeah, I don't know. That's what I was wondering uh, if she, she might have. It says she got the kid done on it. If she got the kid done on her and they could prove that his DNA is inside of her, what more else is it to do? Like, go to the police and, and prosecute his, yeah, I mean, not prosecute, but file them charges on his ass. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, boom, you got his important. name. You got everything. Like, I don't feel, I don't see the reasoning in bringing this shit to the internet besides letting everybody know kai and i guess like i guess coming from see coming from her point of view this she only way that might really be her agenda like okay she's just painting this picture like hey this is the type of person people that kai be around type shit. i don't even know if she's trying to do that she might because realistically bro honestly even if you know what i'm saying like bro, even if, it's just what's even the, if, look, they what's do the, the rape kit and it comes it's back. like what the fuck bringing it to the internet gonna do besides give you a little bit of popularity because it's like it's right, not I'm it's this. not like what this is, nigga about to fuck the world. What is going to the police gonna do though? Realistically, get that nigga in jail. How, bro? If she didn't got a motherfucking rape kit done to her and they can prove that's what i'm saying and they but can what if prove. he over there saying it was consensual she was you know what i'm saying and then they they got this money for a team and all this you know what i'm saying and they beat it and and then now it's like for me but what if she was telling the truth though for me too and it's like but i ain't gonna cap and we know stuff like for me you know stuff like that happens too stuff like that do be happening for me and realistically a lot of people bro a lot of people be i don't know bro it's, Going even a nigga just going to jail ain't enough, bro. If a nigga is really doing something to like people like that, like for me, because bro, somebody do something to somebody, they, you know what I'm saying, bro, somebody, I don't even want to say the word, you know what I'm saying, but they do something to a woman or a kid or something like that, you know what I'm saying, they mess around and don't even do that, like to do as much time as somebody that was selling drugs or something for me. Like, yeah. they be back out on the street, you know what I'm saying, and then they be back out on the street and mess around and be around people that was like the same type of people that they victimized and everything like for me it's like I so like, our system think, fail us uh, our system fail a little bit sometimes it yeah just, so that's the only thing she, so you feel like so so because I'm all open ears you know what I'm saying yeah. maybe I am wrong so you feel like her coming to the internet was her only outlet not even saying it was her only you think outlet. that could have been her only saying, outlet Maybe not because even. the way you just broke it down, 
she damn near can't go to the police. Right, because it's not going because to it ain't no evidence. Because it's not like they just gonna go lock the nigga up. You know what I'm saying? Like they can't just go take her word for it. And you know what I'm saying? Because it's literally they come with a lawyer team and he's saying. I'm but saying no, see that's the thing though. Like that's what I'm saying. It goes back to like when she said she woke up and she yeah. asked him like, "Damn, did he at least use a condom?" It's like, damn, bro. At that point, when you woke up and seen this nigga like was naked with you, whatever, you know what I'm saying, and you was bleeding and shit, you should have got up and went straight to the, you should have called the police right there. But no, like, I get, not like right there type shit, because I get, you know, you probably would have been scared for your life that, who knows what that nigga could have did right. if you would have did that type shit. But, but I know what you're saying. You should have, like, you know what I'm saying, got up out the way type shit right quick and boom, called the police. I need the police to come to this address right now. Like, this man is inside still, I'm bleeding. I just woke up, da, 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 like, boom, right there on the scene. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I ain't going to cap. Where was Kai at before she left that house? Like, for me, for her to, like, if Kai was there, she ain't have to go text him. She could have went straight to him. Like, like for me, your friend just did this is what you basically saying. Like, you could have, like, basically, show, I get what you're saying. Like, it, it's kind of hard for people, and it's not to offend anybody. It's just, you know what I'm saying, you... A, p- a lot of people, I hope a lot of people understand, it's kind of hard for people to just go with this, like, uh, uh, like for me, a lot of people want to think that you would have a fight or flight to you and your fight would kick in to where it's just like, you wake up and see that you don't want that happening to you, you're going to scream if you know, just scream. Not even scream, you know, because she probably, you know, she's thinking logically, she probably thinking like, damn, if I scream, this nigga might try to kill me or something. Right. So I'm saying, like, do enough to, you know what I'm saying, okay, Alright, I'll see and you later. Like, get up out that call door. The funk, stay I'll there even give him a little fake little funk. Give him a fake little funk. Okay, I'll right. text you. I'll call you. You know, like just to get up out that door, get to a safe area. Boom. As soon as you get out, I need the police to this address right. right now. I just woke up. I fear for my life. He just, you know, what I'm saying, like, boom. Yeah. It's just really like that. Make that report. Like, why you gotta wait to make statements on the internet? Yeah. Like, it's nothing wrong with it, I guess. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I, be like, we, I, I, it's, I see it from both angles, you know, because yeah. some people might be looking at the situation like, no, you know, they might be looking at it like they need to let people know. Like, that's, that's what Kai is associated with, dude, right. and that's the fucked up part, you know what I'm saying? Like, People might want to bring a, a bring awareness to that now, even though I feel like it, it's not even like it's just getting looked at. Kai ain't even that type of nigga. You yeah. feel me? He just got caught up Around at the wrong place at the wrong time. Somebody that he thought time. he knew better. He thought you he feel knew me? somebody better. But that's the thing. People might want her to bring this to the internet to know, like, all right, boom, don't go to no Kai Sinat parties. Don't girls watch yourself around. Not even necessarily. They gonna be trying to paint that image because other than that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, really just to be careful at them type of parties. Like, on some, be careful Other on some, that, don't go out. I don't out, see no shit. real benefit of posting it on the internet because it's not like motherfucking, I've, it's, it's, it's not going to stop the bitches that in his realm of, you know what I'm saying? Because it's not like this nigga's pulling up to Kai Sinat parties every day. He's, it's not like he's around bad females like her every day. Mm-hmm. He probably in the trenches somewhere limited to what he limited to. So it's not like the females he got access to is going to care about this shit. Any, well, they might, you know what I'm saying? They definitely going to care. Right. They're going to care. Yeah, that's... We got to guess. Give. I guess you could... This is it's some benefit in the internet shit, but... I just motherfucking personally, you know what I'm saying? It's something about the internet with me type shit because it's like, damn, it's hurting Kai. And I personally, like, I don't personally like know shouldn't. Kai, but I know Kai not with that weird shit. Like, I can't speak for bro, you know what I'm saying? But I know the Kai ain't with that weird shit, and it's fucked up to really see, like, his his career might go down over some shit like this. And it ain't even, like, most of the people, like, tuning in and shit don't even watch Kai content. Like, I really watch Kai's lives, you know what I'm saying? I watch yeah. Kai Sinet content. I watch his YouTube. I watch his Twitch. I watch right. the AMP A&P. channel. Like, Kai is really, like, a big-ass kid, you feel right. me? Like, 
and it's just he didn't like like he ain't mature enough to know yet. See, like that's that's what I mean by like he a big kid. You feel me? Type shit. Like he young in, a, in these positions. He's young. You know what I'm saying like, and he ain't old enough to know yet. Like, all right, boom, I gotta make sure my surroundings. My surroundings is secure. You know, I can't just be having any and everybody around me type shit. Right. He just, like, he's, he's young. What he's he's feeling has, like the man seen. right now, you know? Like, and it's just, it's fucked up, you know? Because his career really might suffer from this. Because, bro, like, yeah, bro. I, I I don't like the way it's bought to the internet, but I totally understand. I totally understand because just like bro said, what, what else would you have done yeah. besides wake up? And, bro, Kai understands that, too, bro. I feel like he's going about it, like, the best way possible, bro. Like, for me, he went on and understood both perspectives, for me, and he both, he said, you know what I'm saying? He, like, he basically, he acknowledged, you know what I'm saying, his connection to both parties, you know what I'm saying? He, how he rocked with both of them, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. he's not, basically, he's not just going to go and say they did it. You know what I'm saying? Or they're in the wrong. He's not going to say anyone's lying or anyone did it until he knows the, fa- the facts. I don't feel like you know old saying? girl lying. I don't feel like yeah, old girl like lying. Because he, he obviously just... trusts both of their word enough to not even pick a side. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, because if you, you know what I'm saying, realistically, bro, if if Kai didn't trust homie like that, he probably wouldn't even follow him no more. He probably would have unfollowed him and everything. He'd have probably, like, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no telling, you know what I'm saying? If if Kai don't trust homie like that, he know deep down inside, you know what I'm saying? Like, he should be working with old girl to get that. But you know, man, dude, like, like, yeah, I don't know, bro. Some shit just... That's we a can crazy see, we topic, gonna go bro. on all, all Literally, night talking just about this shit, topic, you feel me? Bro, yeah. It's so crazy, bro, like, we going to continue watching the video. I just ended off right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, boom. I think, I don't think nothing's wrong with her bringing it to the internet. For real, for real. Like, it's, it's nothing wrong with her bringing it to the internet. It's just, I definitely feel like in these cases, they could be, like, they could be taken care of a little bit more, like, better just how i describe you know like if it was something really like like you know i ain't gonna say if because i feel like it was something like that but when this shit whole shit took place and she woke up that morning she should have motherfucking been out the, out door, the door calling the police, calling the police like hey waiting on them i need y'all to show up here I need this shit documented. I need to file a police report. Even if y'all don't motherfucking take this nigga to jail. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? I need this shit documented. You know what I'm saying? Boom. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and do what you're going to do. Then, feel me? Like, shit, even if you bought it to the internet. Like, shit, at that point. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm talking in circles. Let's, let's, let's watch it. That. And honestly, you know me, I don't believe anything without proof. I don't believe anything without evidence because these are just allegations that can seriously ruin somebody's life and reputation forever. You know, men have been sent to prison and, and literally killed themselves over things like that that turns out they didn't actually do. You know, scholarships stripped away, sponsorships removed, family disowning them, losing their jobs, losing everything, right? You know, she did a little bit of investigative work herself and she's found some things that kind of make her seem as if she's telling the truth. And of course, in the comment section, people are asking questions like, are you going to the police? Somebody said she already did. I'm not entirely sure about that. I haven't seen any paperwork yet, but I will try to find it if I can. Somebody else said, from what I just read, it sounds like you got set up. And man, it gets even worse because last night, also, based on me checking her page out, it seems as though that she has posted a picture of a kid that she did do. And she said, for everyone asking why I didn't do a kid, I did. Now leave me alone. And as you can see here, it says, I hereby authorize Lennox Health Greenwich Village to release the following information covering treatment given to me on 
January 2nd, 2023. She also says, I'm not trying to place the blame on anyone other than the perpetrator who is DG Sack, aka Richie underscore Jiggy. However, I told my story as it happened and I didn't want to leave any parts. I don't believe Kai is to blame. However, he was involved, whether you agree or not. It's just a fact. He's the only person I knew at this party and he's the one who told me to go upstairs where everything occurred. I don't need Kai for attention as I get enough of it on my own and this wouldn't be the way I would try to get it. I wish him the best, but I will not be silenced. I will not choose to exclude him out of my story for his protection. I'm choosing to protect myself this time and say what happened exactly but this the only thing though it's like for me if he's not to blame then why are you sitting here saying it like i'm not he's the one that told me to go out upstairs. of the story like he's the one that told me to go upstairs it's like like but it's like bro but at the same time i ain't gonna cap but again i can't bro before i even think i gotta think about both sides because because she don't know you know what i'm saying she don't know she's he told him to go if he did tell her to go upstairs like i am we don't even i don't know did he tell her to go upstairs and go to this exact room i'm saying he she he must have for her to the know, bottom line know. is he told her to go upstairs yeah you know what i'm saying but ah yeah. oh man see that's i feel kai, like she bro. does deep down i feel like she does feel some type of way about kai she feels she's feeling some type of way about him to say that you know what i'm saying like she feels some type of way I don't need Kai for attention as I get enough of it on my own. And this is, and this wouldn't be the way I would try to get it. I wish him the best, but I will not be silenced. I will not choose to exclude him out of my story for his protection. I'm choosing to protect myself this time and say what happened exactly as it did. Man. Hey. Hey, it's your story. Hey. Tell your story. As it did. She also posted this video last night saying his name is Dijai Sek. So I guess she made a typo before. And she said apparently they gave me the wrong last name. So here's the correct one. And in this video, we're going to go through it one by one. Here's her friend Kai Sinat. As you can see, she's texting Kai Sinat in this upper left corner she texted kai by saying what you find out he said you good she said not really i want to know who it is can you send me the instagram of the guy who checked up on me please question mark question mark this shit is serious i'm not trying to be annoying or anything but i'm legit traumatized i don't care if it's one of your friends and you don't want to throw them under the bus doesn't matter to me he did what he did and he has to pay for that then kai responded back by saying hell no not one of my friends i'm still looking into it and then also based on her own investigative work she managed to actually find the guy on her own who was attending the party i'm not entirely sure where she got this photo from but clearly i think kai is in the middle right here and she found the guy who allegedly her at this party standing next to a girl looking both down at their phones and she decided to text this photo to kai to point the guy out who attended his party that boy was in there in the all black that's not great. She said found him in this picture. She also texted Kai a selfie of her at the hospital. She also said gonna be at the hospital all night. So just hit me up whenever you're ready to respond because I'll be up. Then Kai the following morning texted her back by saying, I'm just waking up. Are you good? She responded back by saying, doing a kit at the hospital. Can you please help me identify this guy that I sent you a pic of because it's him. Please don't tell him anything like don't tell him I'm at the hospital or anything. I don't want him to have time to make up a story or be on alert in case they need to investigate. It's better he does not know. And then Kai responded back with a photo of the guy who allegedly her and said it's him question mark she responded back by saying yes that's the guy who was that okay whatever kai i guess she was waiting but kai didn't respond back immediately and then she said okay whatever kai kai responded back by saying i'm in a meeting currently i'm trying to find out now hold on she then replied back by saying no it's dead ass him and she texted kai a photo of this guy's instagram page she also said i found it yes it's him i'm not slow and i remember me and you have lots of mutuals they can all vouch for me i'm not a liar about this type of shit don't even happen to me is that the guy you sent to check in on me question mark kai then responded back by saying no the guy i sent to check on you checked up on you and left i literally seen it with my eyes you opened the door halfway asked if you was good then came downstairs she responded back by saying okay well that guy went in after kai then said i'm in the same boat as you i don't know everyone at the party so you have to bear with me she then responded back by saying you're not in the same boat as me i just had to take my medication to make sure he ain't giving me no stds a man who i don't even know and don't find attractive in the slightest i've been digging through all your friends pictures to look for this man it's taken me an entire day and a half 
I had plans in New York for the weekend and had to stop to do this. You could have made the process a whole lot easier, but you didn't help me. That's your friend, and I know I'm not, so you can defend it. I'll handle this. Kai responded back by saying, what the f are you talking about? She then responded back by saying, I'm so mad right now. You don't even understand. This is sick. I didn't deserve this. I did nothing to you guys. Kai then responded back by saying, ain't nobody defending shit. I just told you I'm about to find everything out. And that's what I've been doing. She then said, like, why me? Kai then said, why are you saying you guys? See, I don't like you including me into something that I'm trying to figure out. Don't start doing that. What the she then texted Kai a photo of himself and the guy who allegedly f***ed her in the same photo. She then said, that's your homie for real, bro. That's why you ain't helped me. That's why you ain't go up. You knew what he was doing. Kai then said, yo, what the f***? I'm literally getting info as we speak. Are you crazy? I knew what was going on. Jovi, I don't like that at all. All jokes aside, that's not cool. That's f***ed up. She then said, hello, whoa. I'm the crazy one, the victim in the whole situation. Okay. Kai then said, you just sent me pics of the person and now I'm about to get both sides. I didn't know who to look for and now you pulled up pics. If you want me to help you, you can't do shit like this. What the f She then responded back by saying, I'm not on some cool shit right now. Like, do you not understand what just happened to me? I'm literally traumatized. You're not showing absolutely no sympathy. I have every right to feel and react the way I'm reacting. Like, I'm going to give you details so you know how serious it is. Your friend to me in my too and i've been bleeding ever since do you understand how embarrassing and how dirty i feel and you know what he said when i asked him why he did what he did he said because i was in his bed that's the reason why to me because i was asleep in his bed that's his stupid ass excuse now i'm gonna pause right here and say if this party was at kai Sinet's place i'm not entirely sure the place did look kind of big like a mansion or something it may have been rented out who knows but if it turns out that this party partook at kai Sinet's place and this guy dejai sec said that she was sleeping in his bed implying that he may have been living there or may have been staying at that place it would be kind of weird for kai to deny the fact that this may be somebody that he's cool with or that he's friends with like you're probably not gonna have a random stranger saying that this is his bed meanwhile it's in your own house that is if the party partook at kai Sinet's house i mean this entire situation is a complete mess and you know she seems very emotional this does not seem like a pre-calculated plan to lie about kai i mean it's possible to lie about something like this but the fact that she has records at the hospital she's done a rape kit and that she's allegedly gone to the police it it just it's just not looking too good right now she also said i don't sleep around and to be honest if i wanted to have I would have slept with you or some shit. I don't know who this man is. This is a complete stranger to me. Since I don't think you understand that I was This is not something that was consented. I didn't want him. I never flirted. I didn't do shit to deserve this. But sleep, that's all I did. I gave you a description right away and asked you to help me. And then I sent a picture from the party that the photographer took. And you just kept on ignoring me. You know he fit the description like, come on. You could have really helped me and you let me do this all on my own. And that is pretty much all the tweets that she's made since last night. And as of right now, as you can see, Richie underscore Jiggy decided to private his Instagram page. As of course, there are going to be thousands of people going to his page to slaughter him. As we all know in this modern era, the internet is the judge, jury, and executioner. And keep in mind, I'm not defending this guy in the slightest because I don't know him. He hasn't come out to explain himself. He's also privated his Instagram page, which which doesn't look too good either. But here were photos of his Instagram page prior to him, you know, privating his stuff. I will say though that Kai needs to come out immediately and kind of explain his relationship to this person. Like, bro, if this ain't your boy and this is just a random person, let that be known right now because the internet is kind of going crazy right now. But I That's some bullshit. What does it say? Whenever somebody invites you to a party or an event, they're responsible for you and everybody in it. It's their job to make sure you and everyone in that party get back home safe, although Kai that. I kind of agree with that, and I kind of don't, because it's like, okay, boom, I invited you to the party. It's my duty to make sure this is a fun, stable environment for everybody to party in. But, you know... The get back home safe shit, that has nothing to do with me after you leave outside of this motherfucking party. You know what I'm saying? And as far as, like, I do feel 
that's it's it's fucked up, man. Like Kai, he was supposed to secure the party, bro. He was supposed to make sure what no funny business going on, bro. Like, bro, but I'm not gonna lie. What was it? Cause was it's it like cheap some of this shit is kind of valid, bro. Like, damn, like. Didn't you, Kodak get shot at a Justin Bieber party? Yeah. Was they holding Justin Bieber accountable for Kodak no, getting shot? They wasn't. They wasn't. They wasn't. It don't always work that way. All situations are different. They and it's crazy. That's crazy you said that because they wasn't. But like with this, bro, it's just like man. I feel. Like, bro, with me just, like, really being a supporter of Kai, I know he ain't got no funny business going on. Right. But it's just like, bro, you threw the party. You invited this girl, bro. A nigga that's obviously associated with you in some sort of way. You like this picture. He got a picture with you on his Instagram, and... He's one of your 122 people that you're following. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You with a million followers, O plus, is following him out of 122 people. So you you have to know him, know of him something. Yeah. So that's already, like, damn near a fact. And so basically... One of your peoples at your party that you invited this girl to, and then you told her to go upstairs. But hold up, hold up. Then you told her to go upstairs. She was cool. By you telling her to go upstairs, she was cool. Like nigga, you was damn near supposed to treat her like your girl that night. Like even though that wasn't your girl, like nigga, you was damn near supposed to secure that room. Like nigga, you took on that responsibility. Like bro, and that's just the. That's he young. He ain't understand that. Like, okay, nigga, like, if this is like nigga, you can't just be telling like throwing parties and telling bitches go ahead and go in there and go to sleep, nigga. Like, you just took responsibility for her. You know what I'm saying? Like, you being a man, like this your party, you popping, you know everybody, you like, you know what I'm saying? It's probably your Airbnb, your crib, whatever, you know what I'm saying? When you told her go up there, go to sleep, you good. You kinda like took responsibility for that Kai, you know what I'm saying? It's just a learning lesson, you feel me? Like, you was like, like I know that wasn't your girl, bro, but you was supposed to really, like, make sure, boom, like, okay, even if you didn't plan on hitting that, that night, even if you, you know what I'm saying? Like, psh, I'm not even gonna cap, bro. See, like, this situation, if you didn't plan on smacking her that night, you was supposed to just, like, bro, go, you feel me? You gotta figure it out, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna cap. You can't stay at the crib, you know what I'm saying? Like, you was being too nice, bro, and being too nice then got you here, you feel me? Like, you know, because you obviously, like, didn't plan on hitting her, you feel me? Because, shit, your homie was in there taking a yam, you feel me? Motherfucking, so, if you didn't plan on fucking her, bro, you should have, like, at least, nigga... Like, bro, you should have just motherfucking... At least say, got her out of there. Yeah, got her out of there, bro. Like, just like, shit, it's not your response. It's not your responsibility to make sure she's safe because she didn't came to your party and got drunk. I'm sure everybody was there drunk. You know what I'm saying? You gave her the right to stay there. Right, though. I see what you're saying. He trying to be a nice guy and be on some, you know what I'm saying? You, you too can, drunk, don't yeah, drive, you know what I'm stay saying? Here. Stay here. You know what I'm saying? And look Which, where that got him. You know yeah, and you know, you took the responsibility of telling it's her like, to stay damn. there. He tried that to mean, like, it's like You damn. was supposed to, like, really... If you, like, really took the... Like, that's like... That's like motherfucking... Nigga, say just come over and fucking... Just been drinking and shit, and she fucked up, and it's like, all right, damn. I tell Jess, Jess, you good, you know what I'm saying? Just go ahead, crash on the couch, you good, you know what I'm saying? You too drunk to drive, you feel me? But then I leave out of this bitch and go to the club and leave Jess. She's still up, drunk, fucked up, can still, you know what yeah. I'm saying, do whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I just told her to stay here, but still left a whole bunch of opportunity for other shit to happen. Because I'm like, you know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Like, right. boom. If 
I it's told like she her, she at the house, but she like drunk if, and she if up I and told her she could easily leave out as soon as you leave. Yeah, she you could know what leave I'm saying? and go do whatever. Do whatever. You right. know what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, you took on that responsibility of telling her, like, boom, you too drunk, you know what I'm saying, to right. leave. You were supposed to make sure, like, all right, boom, bro, I told her she's staying here, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, boom, she's straight. Don't nobody mess with her, bro. Like, leave her. Yeah. Let her go Let sleep, her sleep, you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. you know, that's kind of like the responsibility you accepted with that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just being real, you know what I'm saying? Am I lying, cuz? Nah, you real. know what I'm saying? Like, nigga. I ain't gonna cap. That's real. Any of us throw, any of us throw a little party or something. Like your something girl, like, best friend, come over to y'all crib and she drunk, nigga. What the fuck y'all gonna do? Like what you like, mean? Like, if one of your girlfriends come over and she super duper, they super duper drunk, and then it's like they too drunk to drive. They can crash at the crib. And yeah. that's what I'm saying. You know, y'all gonna make sure they you. Tell them they crash at the crib, and not only are you gonna make sure they crash at the crib, you gonna make sure they're good. Right, you got you're gonna your make own, sure nobody is here, messing yeah, with you know them. Saying, this you over here. Like right. y'all gonna make sure, all right, boom, you know she good. Make sure she's straight until she gets up. Right, it's gonna be like that extra, like protection over them because they right. drunk. You know what I'm saying? It's I gonna be like a little Ty hard just for me was to on some shit like go up here and go to sleep, but then he just went off and did his own right. thing. He wasn't. And he like said really... he sent homie to check on it. If that's homie that he sent to check, he could have been on some like for me. Yeah, go make sure she good. And then bro, probably you know what I'm saying, I don't know what he was on for me. He probably just looked in there. Bro. He was on some weird shit. You know what I'm saying like, bro, if he did that, you know what I'm saying, like, and then it falls back on Kai because. He wanted to, you know what I'm saying? It's like, dang, bro, he could have called her Uber. He could have, you know what I'm saying? Dang, Anything, bro. just got her up out of there. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's obvious. She was trying, like, she was probably trying to get on with Kai. You feel yeah. me? She was there probably trying to fuck with Kai. Kai probably had some whole other shit going on. Like, after yeah, he her wasn't saying that, it kind of seemed like she was expecting, not even expecting, like, you know what I'm saying? If anything, she... They was going to end up eventually doing something type yeah, shit. Yeah, you thought know. thought that type shit. Yeah, she thought that. But, but I just went through, too, and I noticed, you know what I'm saying? Kai followed, dude, I don't know if he followed her, like, followed her and unfollowed her recently, but he don't follow her, you know what I'm saying? So, and Kai, this must be, Kai ain't trying to just go give up the information because he probably knows dude, and he don't know her like that, you know what I'm saying? So, and at the same time, the level he's at, bro, we all have heard of people getting, the celebrities and everything getting hit with false allegations. Like, we've all heard of this, you know what I'm saying? So he can't, he's not about to, you know what I'm saying? He don't, he, like, if he feels like he knows dude better, then he's probably gonna, he probably is gonna give the dude the respect enough to figure out, go talk to dude first before he just goes straight up, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it's him, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause it, I'm not gonna, I'm not saying this is even all that happened. I'm just saying, it seemed like, cause he follows bro and he don't follow her. I looked, I just looked myself for me. I don't know if he unfollowed her recently or if he just never followed her, but maybe he just knows bro better. And he's just on some like for me, I don't even want to be involved in it. You keep coming to me for the information. And while she's coming to him for the information, he he probably trying to get a hold of his bro to get his bro's side of the story. Like what's going on, bro? Everybody's pressuring me like for me. And who's to say, bro, might not be, like, who knows, bro, who knows? I ain't no telling, for me. I ain't no telling, but for me, at the end of the day, I just hope, you know what I'm saying, my Kai, my boy Kai seemed like a, a, a real stand-up dude, you know what I'm saying? He seemed like he wouldn't, he would never be attached to nothing crazy like this, especially not, like, n never, never intentionally, never, you know what I'm saying? Like, coincidentally, it could happen, you know what I'm saying? Because, but never intentionally, like, for me, but I just feel like, when the time comes and justice is served, I feel like Kai got to do what he got to do and really, you know what I'm saying, stand on what he's saying, you know what I'm saying? If if it come down to it, and you know what I'm saying, she lying, cut her off. But if it come down to it and your man lying and he did it, you really have to cut your man off. I don't know how long you known him, you know what I'm saying? But, bro, you know, you know what I'm saying, bro? You, he know, he knows, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, we all know. It's... You, bro, that's not okay, you know what I'm saying? We know. We Yeah, bro, like I said, bro, I just feel like, you know, Kai is young. Young and a crazy And he didn't situation. really, like, you know, he probably had all the bitches at that party was trying to fuck with him, you right. know what I'm saying? He so could have invited her he, on some, I might hit her. Tonight. Yeah, that's you know what, what it saying? was, you know what I'm like, saying? We all know what's up, bro. Like, we ain't got to sit here and act, you feel me? Yeah, like, you know every, that was Kai's party. 
He's the hottest motherfucker on Twitch, YouTube right now. Every girl in that party wanted Kai. It was right. about who he was going to choose. And it could be Oh, girl the- obviously didn't get chose, but Kai still, like, for some reason told her she could stay. That's where it was like, bro, no. It's literally you all got her up out of there, ways bro. and narratives it could be looked at, too. Because cause it could have been on. Kai could also be looking at it like that. He, he feel like. She want to get down, and he want to, like, like he feel like she know what's up, you know what I'm saying? And he, he knows he but probably, you can't he say probably like, I'm saying, I'm not saying this is what happened. I'm just saying, like, he, maybe, you know what I'm saying, like you said, she was saying, like, if I was going, you know what I'm saying, fuck with anybody, I, I would have just fucked with you, for me. Maybe he yeah. probably already knew, like, that maybe he could have invited her on the fact that maybe I'm going to hit her tonight. And then it was but on some, like. But he never checked on her that whole yeah, night. you know what I'm saying? So but, it's like. And I feel like this is what I'm saying, though. Maybe Kai feels like she's, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, maybe Kai feels like like he's got an internal feeling. Not saying this is what it is. Don't get me, don't get my, put words in my mouth. But maybe there's like a chance that Kai has a feeling inside of him, like deep down to where he don't want to jump the gun because he might feel like she might be lying because she's in her feelings because who knows? Kai might have ended up with somebody else that night, and he probably had intentions of hitting her, and it was just some unspoken. They just never spoke on it. He probably never told her, you know what I'm saying? Pull up, you know what I'm saying? Come to the party. It's going to be me and you tonight. He probably No, never but had- this is what I'm saying. Kai already made that clear. He said she was invited to the party just like everybody else. It was, okay, yeah, so. It was no special invitation. It was no nothing. She was invited just like but everybody I'm saying, else. Like, but for it him was- to invite her, it was a reason, though. You know what I'm saying? Dude, she he... was a female. She was a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Come to the party. You cute. Come. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You right. Like, you're right, you're shit, right. it was, it was, he invited, I'm sure she wasn't, he, she wasn't the only f- female that he invited and that, that day. he would have knocked down. Yeah, bro. Right. Like exactly. I'm That's saying, I'm bro. Saying. Yeah. Every female in that party wanted Kai. Right. A, a good 70% of them. 70% of the females in that party wanted to be with Kai. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, so. He chose, he got to choose whoever he wanted. Right. And motherfucking, it's just like, bruh, he should have got her up out of there, bro. Yeah, or bro. he should have. It took care if of her, he, bro. If he told her to stay, he should have picked her. He should have just went ahead and knocked that down and made sure she was good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, boom, go ahead up here to my room. Lock the door. I'll be up there in a couple hours, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm finished partying, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to be up there, you feel me? Like, And he should have ended off his night with her. If you told her to stay, you were supposed to end off your night with her, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be telling bitches to stay, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, excuse my language. You can't just be telling women to stay and you doing your thing with a whole nother woman and all that shit. But that's when it get messy. That's when shit like this happen. Because you got your thirst ball homies lingering around right. the party to end it, and these niggas still sitting so in the living room you, smoking. you got all the shorties. These niggas do. still sitting in the living room smoking weed 3 o'clock in the morning. The party been over, you know what I'm saying? These niggas still sitting on the couch. <laughs> they be hit that by nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, what the fuck is y'all doing? Everybody being left. That... That nigga got his eye on that room right up there. Cap, you know what I'm you saying? You go back and go. Let me go back and try to find this picture. That nigga sitting on the couch with his eye on that room right up there with his bro, window ass. I'm not even gonna cap the one picture where they where they zoomed in and he was standing next to the girl in the party. Like that you know was something right there. If me personally, if I throw a party and you know I tell a little shorty to stay, like, all right, boom, you can stay here. You ain't gotta leave and shit. And I know. I'm not about to be fucking with her, but I know it's other, like, niggas in this party and other, even, you know what I'm saying, even if it's my family members, even niggas I've known, you know what I'm saying, people and shit, you know what I'm saying, and then I not, I would just still make sure, like, all right, boom, you know what I'm saying, just come, you know what I'm saying, like, damn, you feel me, oh, go to the ear, go, you I ain't gonna lie, I just feel like if it was a situation, like, I don't know, I, I really don't know, bro. Like, I don't... I We really... I don't... Bro, only ones that really... Like, Kai knows... I just don't see why different. he's told her to stay if he wasn't, like... He shouldn't have told her to stay, bro. Yeah. He shouldn't have told her to stay at all. Like, like bro, if anything... Line, you know what I'm saying? Justice needs to be served, you feel me? Justice needs to be served for whoever, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, you know whoever, what I'm saying? Whoever, you know what I'm saying? Hey, 
It's a learning lesson here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Right. Fellas. If you, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to be telling the chick and shit, she could stay over your crib and there's multiple people over your crib and shit, bro. You basically yeah, bro. taking responsibility for her that night, right, bro. Yeah. You got to make sure she's safe. Because if one of your homies do something or something, nigga, and, like, you the one that she know, nigga, like, it's damn near kind of, like... You an accomplice. Like, not accomplice, but it's down there, like, damn, nigga, where was you at? Right. Like, where the fuck was you at when this shit was Yo, going you, on? Yeah, you the... Bl- they gonna be falling back on you because yeah. you were supposed to be the one that h- held them down. You know yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, bro... We could all learn something from this, bro. And I, I just hope Kai's <coughs> career don't take no tumble or nothing from this because I really rock with Kai. I, right. I like Kai as a person, and I know he ain't got no funny type of time going on, bro. Just he young, and he didn't know how to handle this situation. You know what I'm saying? He shouldn't put himself in this situation. Yeah. But he young. You know what I'm saying? You do dumb shit like that when you young. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I done told her to stay. You know what I'm saying? I got a whole nother bitch over here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, you know, like, 